All right, g'day legends. So Nathan here from Nathan's Lawns and Gardens. A big thank you, 30,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Right, this hedge behind me, I've got to reduce it somewhere around there all the way along. And a few of those trees, shrubs off the back, I've got to cut them down as well. I'm going to get into it and make us a video. Don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe, like, share, all of that funky stuff that supports my page. Let's go guys. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through some of the stuff that I do when I trim a hedge. So this is a viburnum hedge. I always trim the sides first, really important. The reason why, because it opens it up for when I do the top to give me a better clean finish. The second thing that I do is I do a rough guide, a rough line. That's what I'm doing right now. I go in about 30, 12, 20 to 30 centimeters. It's just a rough guide. When I'm doing it, I always make sure that my hands are relaxed and my arms. If you're holding that hedge trimmer tight, you're not going to get a straight line. People think they do, but they actually get the opposite effect. So really important to be relaxed, just like, it's like jelly, basically. You want to just go easy and let the machine do all the work. Now, when you're also doing that line, the last thing that you want to do is when you're feeling that it might not be straight, you don't want to be going down. You want to be going up because if it's not straight, the last thing you want is that there's it starts off nice and straight and then it just dips. Then you've got to go back to the beginning, start again, and you're reducing the, the plant even more, the hedge, and it's putting it under a bit of stress then. Then finally, after you've done that, it's really important to come back along. All those loose branches that have just been cut get them out of that hedge a it doesn't look professional if you don't and b open that hedge up open that bad boy up you want it to breathe it needs some new life in there some air so get rid of those off cuts really important because in about a week's time they're going to be all brown and dead and it just looks ugly i also had to trim these three shrubs at the back here I was actually shocked when I trimmed them. I didn't realize how heavy they actually were. They were about 70 to 80 kilos. I'm actually cutting one right now. So really important when you trim it that you get it over the hedge. You don't let it fall into the hedge, then it will damage it. Now, I was lucky it all fit in my van, so that was good. I got to take it away to the tip. Now, remember with this hedge, it was all about reducing it because the owner wants to look after it moving forward. So that's what the goal here was. It will grow back absolutely fine moving forward. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that funky sp stuff that supports my page. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching and mow on legends.